Yeah, hello everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I think what we're gonna do today is uh, take out all of the green polymer weapons and uh, hunt some raccoons and fox and quail and whatever else we can find. Uh, I just wanted to real quickly see if I can somehow break this even more than it's already broken. I want to see if I can get it to launch me if I jump on it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, these gates at uh, this outpost are... Uh, I think it's pretty widely known now that they are kind of broken, but I, I want to see if we can make them even more broken by just... Okay, that did not do what I was expecting it to, so uh, uh, that's a bit of a bust, but... Yeah, it didn't do what I was hoping it would. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of hoping it would launch me or something crazy like that, but uh, no such luck. But uh, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to take a route that I found recently that's been really, really good for finding stuff. Uh, what we're going to do is start here at Bingham Bayou Outpost. Uh, I don't know the name of it. It is Bingham Farms Mobile Home. And we're just going to run to the west until we get over to uh, this outpost. Because I did this last night and managed to have some pretty insane luck and uh, we will be covering some of the trophies in the next couple of videos that I got during that hunt because it was kind of crazy. But I feel like they need to be put in two separate videos just because of uh, how different the trophies were. But uh, anyway, I guess without further ado, let's go over the guns we're using. We're using the 22 LR, the uh, green polymer variant. Uh, we're using the 6.5 with the uh, green polymer. I forgot the name of it. And then we're also using the uh, 22 Hornet with the green stock. And then we're also using the 223. So this should be a fun hunt. It's definitely different than what we've been doing recently. And I think it's going to be quite a bit of fun. I hear something. Oh, there it is. We got ourselves a fox. Let's see if we can maybe get it with the 223. And it stopped running right as I went to shoot, so unfortunately we end up missing it. I think we might be able to get another chance though. Oh yeah, right there. About 100 meters. Uh, it stopped for a second. I don't know if it's going to do that again, but you know what? That actually looks good right there. And it is. Vital organ hit for sure. Uh, let's go claim that fox and then go figure out whatever just called. I'm not exactly sure what that was. I wasn't able to actually grab the call in time. However, we did get a fox down. I did get that call again and it did come from a raccoon, so I think we will chase that down. Uh, that was an intestine and liver shot, so not exactly the shot I was aiming for, but I mean, it worked pretty good. It actually took it down relatively quick. Honestly, I'm... Uh, a little bit more impressed with how the 223 does on these things than the 22 Hornet. I really hope they buff the 22 Hornet because currently the 223 is just so much better for stuff like Fox and so is the 243. So I don't see why you would use anything besides the 243 and the 223 because uh, it takes these Fox out really quickly. Ooh, there we go. There's a little level 3. Let's uh, take out the 22 LR and see if we can... Uh, um what just happened there? I I don't know what to say to that. That was weird. <laughs> I guess uh, typical multiplayer things because we are in multiplayer currently. Uh, that was that was really strange. <laughs> that was like beyond strange. Well, there it is again. Uh, let's see if we can get a better view of it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, these things are not easy to keep up with. We did hit it. So it is going down. That was such a strange scenario. I don't think I've ever seen something quite like that happen. That raccoon just decided to go full on moonwalk mode. Ooh, there's another one. Hello there, little guy. Let's use the 22 Hornet on this one. And uh, yeah, two shots from the 22 Hornet and that thing is down. Honestly, 22 Hornet's not bad at close range. It just needs a little bit more of a damage increase at long range and a penetration increase, but up close, it's not terrible. It does the job. Oh my gosh, well, uh, that's gonna be a good thing to use the 6.5 on if we can get a shot on it. <laughs> yeah, that works. Well, this has become a action-packed video unexpectedly. I didn't think we'd have this many animals close together running these fields, but that's a 111 brown hybrid male wild hog. These things look great. And uh, recently I saw that Flinter pointed out that there might actually be a couple different patterns for the brown hybrid wild hogs, which is uh, pretty cool. We might have to try and get a diamond. Uh, believe it or not, I still don't have a diamond feral pig or wild hog. So 
We definitely have to get that at some point. It's been one thing that's eluded me so much. I think I've had four trolls and zero diamonds. Uh, I think it's about time we try to get one. But now for this little raccoon, we ended up hitting it one time with the 22. Uh, honestly, for only being one hit, it killed it pretty quickly. I typically like to shoot them twice with the 22 LR just to take them down a little bit faster, but it, uh, it does work pretty good. I did uh, apparently find out from a few of you in one of the live streams, and I, I had to go confirm for myself I went to the uh, known issues list for Call of the Wild, but apparently these are supposed to be class 2. I thought that it was supposed to be class 1 and that the class 2 thing was a typo, um, but uh, yeah, it's apparently an issue where they're supposed to be class 2, which is really weird because I could have swore that we were told that the class 2 was a typo. At least that's what I was told, so I just assumed that they were supposed to be class 1. But it turns out they're supposed to be class 2, and uh, to be honest, I don't think that's a good move. I don't know how many of you guys that watch this have hunted raccoons in real life, um, but you typically use stuff like the 22 LR on them. I know people that use birdshot, and I feel like it'd be strange for them to make them a class 2, and in real life, raccoons are extremely tanky and resilient, so it also makes sense that they're still uh, very difficult to kill in-game. They're not supposed to be an easy thing to kill with those smaller weapons. They are a more tanky animal. It's just a little bit strange to me that they are going to make them class 2, because I really don't feel like that's the move. I feel like they're currently pretty realistic the way they are, at least uh, based off the raccoons that are in my area. But uh, let me know down in the comments what your experience is with raccoons and whether or not you think they should stay class 1 or if they should be made class 2 like they plan on doing because personally, I think they're fine as class 1. Birdshot's a lot of fun to use on them as well. Speaking of raccoons, there's another one if we can get a spot on it. Yeah, that one's just a little level 2. Uh, let's go ahead and break the 22 LR out once again and just get one into it. I think we'll only need one, but... If we can, we might try to get a second shot into it, and yeah, there he is right there. Let's go for that second shot. Oh my gosh, I am incredibly unsteady from running, but I think we finally got a shot into it. It's uh, not a great one. It looked like it was a butt shot, but that will take it down still. But there it is. There's our little raccoon. I believe this is the grafer type. Yeah, it is. This is probably my favorite. It looks a lot like the raccoons that are uh, from around where I live. And uh, I think that's pretty sweet. I would like to get a gray diamond. I think currently I have a brown diamond. I might actually have a gray diamond. I'm not sure, but I think it's the brown. I'd like to get a gray diamond though, so we will probably do a raccoon grind sometime soon. I've found a lot of their drink zones recently, and I think it might be fun to uh, kind of grind for a diamond or a couple more rares of these little guys. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool little raccoon right there and honestly the 22 LR does fine uh, honestly it does pretty much the same as 22 Hornet in most cases well there we go with another decent level 4 wild hog let's see if we can maybe get a shot through these trees it's gonna be tricky though because these trees don't typically allow you to shoot through them if you're uh, at least decently close to the tree and uh, yeah this one's kind of right in the middle of them so this is not gonna be an easy shot However, I do think we can pull it off if we uh, plan this correctly. There it is. And that somehow missed. Oh, no wonder it's behind the tree. That was a tree that I wasn't actually able to see, so that's a bit unfortunate. Maybe we can save this, but I, I think this guy's long gone. Although, maybe not. This guy just might go out into the road, and uh, if he does that, then this will be perfect. Oh, he's definitely going to go where we want him to, I think, and if uh, nothing else, he should stop soon, and he's in a pretty decent area. Yeah, that's that's actually going to be perfect, so let's uh, see if we can get a shot into him now. I'll try to get him to stop with the 22 trick. All right, there we go. That should be perfect right there. Uh, let's do one more just for good measure, and that should bring him down. Well, there is our f wild hog right there. Man, they just look so much better than they used to. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to uh, do a hunt for them in the near future. Because I kind of want to get a diamond, like I was saying. I really want to get a diamond of these wild hogs. I think they just look amazing now that they've had their improvements to the fur. And I guess the better looking face and tusks, it'll be kind of, uh, kind of fun to go after them. 
But uh, yeah, it was a decent shot with the 6.5, and then the second one was uh, not great, but it uh, at least it brought it down slightly faster. Oh my gosh, that's a little raccoon right there. How's it going, little guy? You would uh, like a 22 Hornet to your butt, I see? Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> not vitals, but uh, it'll go down eventually. And yeah, just as I expected, it barely ran at all. And uh, yeah, it's a brown fur type common raccoon 8.60. Uh, surprisingly, we haven't seen any big raccoons. They've all been pretty average size, which is a little bit sad. Hopefully we can find ourselves a larger one soon. Oh, there we go, that's a rabbit. Let's uh, get that down if we can. I really don't see these things too often. They're uh, probably the hardest thing to hunt on the map. And uh, there we go, finally got it. That took way too many shots. I probably should have zeroed for 50 instead of 100. Uh, but we did get it. My shooting's been a bit subpar today, sadly. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Eastern Cottontail down. As I was saying though, they've been difficult to find. They seem to only be in groups of one to two whenever you find a need zone. And whenever I find the need zones, they're almost always really difficult to spot because there's not many of them and they're pretty small. But uh, they have been kind of fun the times that I have found them. There is another gray raccoon. So I think because of the fact that soon they are going to be class two, let's try the 223 on them just to kind of see what it does. We're not even going to aim for vitals. We're just going to shoot. And uh, I mean, I don't think it has that crazy of penetration. It is starting to go down, but I doubt that was vitals. Yeah, it was non-vital organ hit on both of these. So we definitely will have to wait for a broadside shot if we're using the 223, which I kind of expected that. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, not too bad on penetration. If it's broadside, you'll definitely get lungs. So that's good at least. And uh, that was actually level four. To be honest, I didn't even check what level it was. I just started shooting. So I probably should have checked its level first, but uh, it would have been a gold. Well, that's a level three, eight to 10 kg blonde raccoon. Uh, this might be a better test of the 223, uh, just to see what it will be like when we're able to use it on them. I think this is about as good of an opportunity as we'll get. A nice frontal shot on a blonde raccoon. Well, it had started fleeing and then it got stuck and I had to come up and actually uh, figure out what was going on here. I don't think that was a good shot. Uh, if it can go broadside, that would be fantastic, but I mean, that was about as good as we're going to get, I think. I don't know if that hit where we wanted it to, but it was a decently broadside shot. Uh, it does look like it was non-vital, though, once again. Yeah, non-vital organ hit. So, uh, yeah, we're not exactly hitting where I'd like to on these raccoons. And in fact, okay, first was vertebrae, the second was stomach. Man. These things are tough if you don't hit the vitals. But uh, like I was saying earlier, that's kind of how they are in real life. I've seen raccoons tank a lung shot from a 22 LR and even from larger rounds too. They are quite tough sometimes. Obviously, it will also depend on where you live. Uh, as with any species, not every location produces the same uh, quality or uh, caliber of animals. Ooh, that is a 5 to 6 kg track from a gray fox. I think we're going to go ahead and follow that because you never know. It might lead to something cool. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few cool gray fox in the uh, last couple weeks. And if we can find ourselves another level 9, that would just be amazing. Uh, well, there's our 5 to 6. Unfortunately, it's just a level 7. But we will still attempt to take it out if we can get the right angle here. I think it should eventually give us one. The I've noticed the gray fox tend to not run that far. Uh, either that or they just run so slow that they don't make it quite as far as other species would, but we should be able to get a shot on this thing pretty shortly. Well, this thing is giving me quite a bit of trouble, so I'm thinking about just taking a detour and uh, trying to figure out what this raccoon is instead, because uh, with that only being a seven, it's really not worth the hassle that it's giving me right now. It has been uh, quite the elusive fox, and every time that I get lined up, it either spooks or it just gets behind the trees. So we're just going to let that thing go and chase down this little raccoon instead. Well, it is just a level three, but let's go ahead and try to get it with the 22 LR if we can maybe squeeze a shot through these trees. And 
Yep, that did it. I think that was only one hit, though. There we go. Got a second into it. Man, these trees sometimes make it so difficult to squeeze those shots through. But honestly, we've been we've been doing a decent job of it today. Uh, not perfect, but I think we've got most of the ones down that we were targeting. So uh, that's good. I'm at least happy that we're getting most of them down. And there it is. This should be another little gray one. And I I I can't. Oh great. <laughs> The the new host has 5600 ping. Yeah, we're we're not getting this thing at all. <laughs> we're we're not going to be able to claim this. Well, I uh, guess it's time to find a new server. But I think before we jump into the hunting on this server, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a clip that we have from a multiplayer session that I joined the other night. I decided to use a brand new method of hunting for trophies on Mississippi Acres. Typically, I would just go to the drink zones and hunt those, but I was told by Mel's Gaming that running through the fields seems to be a pretty effective way to find stuff like rare and diamond foxes, raccoons, quail, all that type of stuff. So I decided to give it a try and sure enough, we ended up finding our very first albino raccoon running from this outpost that we've been running from today and going directly west to uh, this one. And I guess without further ado, let's just jump straight into that. When we first ended up encountering this, we picked up the track and the track said albino. I was just running around like I was saying, looking for trophies and basically just trying to grab every track I could and see if it was a rare fur type or if it was a max weight and sure enough we ended up finding an albino track I was more than excited to pick this up because I have been wanting an albino raccoon ever since I saw the one that Kill Clinton got because they are just such beautiful trophies and it was such a nice thing to finally lay eyes on one in game unfortunately it was giving us some issues so it was kind of difficult to get the perfect shot on it but we did finally end up getting a shot lined up with the 22 lr and taking that little guy down and when we did finally get it down and got up to it we were actually able to see just how beautiful these things really are up close in game there's a lot of trophies where I feel like they look so much better when they're still alive or when you've just shot them and then uh, when they get into the trophy screen I think they don't look quite as good so I always like to kind of take in the moment whenever I take out something like an albino raccoon because they always look best when they're in game and you're hunting them it's a uh, really cool to see them and I'm so happy that we finally got ourselves an albino raccoon and uh, we actually just picked up a pretty heavy rabbit track. This is a 178 to 2.10. Very well could be a diamond rabbit. So I think we should probably try to find out where this is. It's going to be a huge pain to track. Rabbits are probably the hardest thing to track on this map. But we're going to give it a go and see if we can find it. Alright, so we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. The host just changed the time to 9. And all the tracks disappeared. So yeah, we are kind of screwed here I don't really know what we can do the this zone over here ended at seven and I don't know where the rest zone is for these little guys so yeah this is gonna be a problem all right so I decided to move around the raccoons quite a bit in the lodge I brought them all into this room because I think it'll be best to have them all close together this is our diamond brown 12.2 that is our blonde piebald and this is our brand new albino raccoon and then we have our melanistic in the multi mount with the melanistic alligator as well so we've now got I think most of what we need for the raccoons all we need to find now is the brown and gray piebald Both of those seem to be a little bit harder to find than the blonde piebald though So it might be a little bit before we get them But we will continue searching for them in multiplayer and maybe even in single player as well Along with looking for some more fur variations for the diamond raccoons But overall this was a pretty exciting trophy to get and I was very very happy to see this thing show up I still uh, can't believe the moment that we picked up that track and it said albino it was such a uh, surreal moment because I never expected to find an albino raccoon off of its track I really expected to like spot it just because of how much they stand out but 
sure enough, we ended up finding its track and tracking our way to this little guy. And man, it was such a cool experience. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to take the polymer uh, green colored weapons out and use them on everything in Mississippi Acres. Let me know what else you guys would like to see me do in future videos, and I will try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any future uploads. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!